Like so many other musicians, when the pandemic hit, we lost tours, we lost gigs, we lost our income. So we dove in and we started a weekly live stream from our living room. We traded songs, we traded instruments, we traded stories, we even got our son Liam involved. A few shows in, we came up with a way to involve other musicians by having them perform a song safely from outside on our back patio. We didn't realize how starved we were for that musical connection until we had friends standing just outside our door serenading us and our audience. I'm free to release the pain. Now we've broken all the chains. I stand in equality, unapologetically. We also invited musicians to join us from our living room windows. To cover the growing costs of putting the show on, we started looking for sponsorship from wineries, distilleries, breweries, coffee roasters, even engineering firms. We're humbled by the support we've gotten from the sponsors and from our fans. We also invited radio stations and festivals to be co-presenters to reach a wider audience. And we got help from our buddy Josh Orchard at Media Campus with filming and streaming the show. To be whole, to be whole, to be holy. We've done over 25 episodes. We've had world-renowned songwriters and musicians perform from our back patio and windows. And our fans have been there the whole time watching it evolve. All I need you was a love you gave. All I needed for another day. And all I ever knew, only you. This is Thursday Night's Live. Better try it again. Uh. Hello. Howdy. Welcome. Episode number 29. You know what I need to do is plug this in. We're totally not ready just yet. Don't leave. Just kidding. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? Now you could sit and I could go get something that I forgot. What did you forget? <laughs> My empty glass, of there course. You go. There you go. Because tonight we are going to toast with our sponsors. This is the, the wine that we're sponsoring that is. We are this sponsoring. Tonight, they are that sponsoring. we are sponsoring is Matzinger Davies. We're going to talk about them a little bit later. And the whiskey is Westward. We have a benefit bottle that we'll talk about later. We're going to first do a toast to this very long year. <laughs> yes, very that long we're year. Slowly, it's slowly feeling more hopeful, which yes. is very good. That light at the end of the tunnel that was like a whisper of a light of a, it's becoming a little you louder said, now. You said whisper. I did last I time. That. And someone made yeah. a comment about it and said something about whisper a whisper. A and I was like, what? Whisper of a light? Is that a song? <laughs> so cheers, cheers to all the first responders who have put their lives on the line this whole year. And Kept us alive mm -hmm. or helped us in many ways. Yes. Yes. Mm. 
Mm. We have this awesome background music in our back patio right now, courtesy of our musical guest, Scott Law. I don't know if anybody can hear him or not, but it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you ready? Let me make sure I'm in with you there. Let's start this off with a sad, sad song. Audio is low. Oh, audio is low. Note. So go ahead, uh, take note of that. You know what I think you should do? You should just pull that closer to you. It's a I will, crazy it wild idea. Funny for me to be... <laughs> Always leaning way over. You, just, you can just move it. You can move it a few inches and then that, you don't have to do it. I can see that now. Yes, my mom even says audio is low. Okay. So, all right. So is it better now, everybody? Is it? Did anybody uh, answer? Usually takes a while for oh, people to get back to it. Oh, it does. Okay, so. so we'll just start. <clears throat> and uh, maybe, maybe our special guest can be alerted that we can hear him loud. Can we hear it? Is it too loud? I can hear him really well. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Here we go. We're now starting. Thank you. 
oh, oh, oh. You must tour together. Your synergy is amazing. The synergy. Thanks, wow. Ruth. Thanks. Audience We've really worked on the synergy quite a bit. Sure your phone speakers are turned up. <laughs> what did Chris, you say? Chris just answered everyone. Oh. <laughs> um, that audio is coming through just fine. Just make sure your speakers and your computers and your phones That's are turned funny. way up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Another sad, sad song. Yes, this is a sad song. I wrote this one uh, years ago around the time of the Sago mine disaster in West Virginia where 13 coal miners went down in a mine and 12 of them perished. One of them lived. The way I saw it, the 13th guy was, was very lucky. I call this 13 Below. Shadows rolling cold into the ground. Ancient hills hold the only jobs around. Lightning rattled bones and shattered stone. When the air cleared, there were 13 left alone. 13, 13, down to West Virginia Hole.
to get the rock chorus. That's great. I love that sound. How'd you like that low note? That. <laughs> <laughs> Intentional. Very that's intentional. What, that's yes. what, I'll say. what do we do? Oh, crossbow. No. No. Magic. Magic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just agreed with myself. I am not sure about what, but I did. <laughs> I totally agree with myself. Um. You are in. I think I agree that this is. This has been a long haul, <laughs> and from what I can tell. Everybody sort of feels the, the weight of the whole long year that we've all had. And there's just this, like, sluggish feeling of abounding. Gonna, What's that? Are you going to do this uh, oh, no. half yeah. step up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna mention. I see all the comments coming in. That's really beautiful. What was, what if you guys get, there? if you guys get a chance, share the link with your friends and what are, uh, what are some of the get some new faces watching. That'd be great. Some of the comments. Uh, so good to see your faces. Livermore checking in. How you doing, Mark? Good to see you. Um, Pony slide is out. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Um, more of that later. Nadine says, bravo. I'll take that bravo. I know what I want to do. I want to take good. a second and talk about the incredible winery that is sponsoring tonight's show. This is um, how much we've been, the whole cast oh, and crew has in, enjoyed it. We <laughs> love that winery. It's so good. Um, it is called Matzinger Davies. So acclaimed winemakers, Anna Matzinger and Michael Davies, spent many years making wine separately in exceptional cellars, both internationally as well as here in Oregon. Together they established the Massinger Davies Wine Company, crafting wines with a resonant and vibrant voice, speaking authentically to their geographic origin. Focusing on a small lot of um, AVA-based Pinot Noir and Chardonnay from the Willamette Valley and single site Sauvignon Blanc and Grenache from the Columbia River Gorge. Michael is currently executive winemaker for both Rex Hill and A to Z Wine Works in Newburgh, Oregon. And Anna consults in winemaking after a long and successful tenure as winemaker and co-general manager for Archery Summit in the Dundee Hills. In their own words, our intent is to craft wines reflective of where they are grown and to nurture their expression of place. Uh, I just want to say they are the loveliest people, uh, full of integrity, they're very thoughtful, and we are huge fans of them and their incredible wine. You can taste all those qualities in their wines. So. Yes. Okay. It's true. Okay. This is a, a older tune of mine. Waiting for magic.
you. <laughs> I'm just going to say thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I don't know. For the people watching, thank you. <laughs> Is that a silly thing to say when there's no no physical applause in front of you? It might be, it but might it be isn't. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's all bets are off. Um, <coughs> our, we have a very special guest. We've known yes. for both known known him for years. I have the uh, honor and pleasure of every once in a while getting to play with him in our little side group we call Banjo Killers. <laughs> um, Scott has played with so many folks over the years. Because he's such a great player and such a kind soul. Um, he does a regular thing down at Terrapin Crossing, Phil Lesh's place down there in California, although right now it's not, not so regular, I'm sure. Um, he has his own live stream that he does every Monday at. Um, that's right. We'll have to ask him. <laughs> his own, own, own live stream and uh, plenty of albums that we can, uh, we can talk about oh, he's when we talk to him. Wonderful so, songwriter. Let's get the Instagram camera going over yeah. there and go to the back patio camera. Okay. Hey. Okay. There he is. Please. Please hey. Welcome. Sorry. Just not a camera. I just need my camera. You are bad. You, you've got camera chops, Steph. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Okay. Right on, sounding great, you guys. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This is a little tune that I wrote, uh, with which oddly might make more sense now to start playing it uh, because the times we're in. So anyway, this one's called "Mix Up the Medicine." Been a little low down, falling out. 
Every new day like tomorrow Fade away moonlight Into the sun Water out here with the banjo bunhole so so good to hear you live in person buddy you guys too to pick a tune with you too let's do that this is killer this is my first time on the uh the patio cam for thursday nights live so this is what it's like Banjo Killers came because um, I used to hire this wonderful drummer from the Bay Area named uh, Darian Gray, and he would uh, introduce me as at the end of the night he would he would say, "And thank you, put your hands together for the guy I like to call the Banjo, Banjo Killer." Killer. <laughs> <laughs> so I just always thought that would be a great name for a band. It's turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> So no, no banjos get injured in the process. <laughs> well, let's do one of the well, we're here. Let's do one of those tunes, uh, those tunes of yours, those old chestnuts. This is a definitely an old chestnut that I titled after, after a town in California on the coast called Bolinas. Thank you. 
I love that tune. <laughs> Thank you. It's fun to play. I gotta, you know. <laughs> Scott Mom, I'm gonna head back in the house. Tony Furtado. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, Scott. we'll see you in a little bit. See you Thanks, in a everybody. Hey, so we got someone else to talk about here. Very fine, co kind, kind, fine folks wow, at uh, Westward. I know that was quite a whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, Westward Whiskey. Really great folks here. Let me tell you something about them real quick. For nearly two decades, Portland based Westward Whiskey has brought something new, different, and relevant to whiskey, and they are proud to serve as a leading voice for American single malt. And to mark Women's History Month and honor the incredible women of the spirits industry and beyond, Westward has released its second annual Women of Westward Benefit Barrel. All proceeds from this limited edition American single malt will support two outstanding charities, Al Otro Lado and the Black Mamas Matter Alliance. Mm. So. Awesome. You go to their website, which I'm sure Chris is going to link up in the comments, and check them out, Westward Whiskey. And this is that special edition, amazing, cool, benefit Beautiful, yeah. bottle. So thank you to them. We're so honored to have them. For helping us out yeah. with the show. And be a part of it. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> See, the way it works is we get sponsors to help uh, pay for the cost of the show, which include getting musical guests, as well as our wonderful film tech crew of one, Josh <laughs> Orchard, Media Campus, so that we can start out um, 
in the black, so to speak. Yes. <laughs> and it, it really makes it possible. Yeah. And it's also fun to uh, connect some dots with so some much fun. businesses around here and sometimes around the country. So. Yeah, absolutely. You're in. in fact, that's one of my favorite things about um, this process is that we've been able to connect with such wonderful winemakers and distilleries and coffee, coffee makers, roasters. And engineering firms. Engineering firms. Is that what yeah, you call them? Been, firms? Yeah. Agencies? I think so. All right, that concludes the tuning portion of our show. Not really. <laughs> oh, you still have more to tune. It does not. I, I have does to not conclude. There. Tuning becomes kind of a nervous habit, actually. It's interesting. Um, so I'm going to do the, the title track to my new album, which is soon to be released. That's all I can say about it. Soon, you know, pandemic depending on. Oh, it's going to come out very soon. Okay, <clears throat> this is called Crossfire. My turn. You ready?
going to strum my guitar because I think I never got in tune with you. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. So. <laughs> hey, we got a special After all that effort. Over here at the window. <clears throat> oh, we're, I'm supposed to remind you to put the light on. Oh, the I'm window light. Put the light on. I'm going to hand you that there. Mr. Scott. Here's your light shining in your face. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Hey. Hey you guys! Welcome. Back there again. This is this is good. <laughs> You've been actually in the window before, right? No. I don't think I've done the window yet. So this is the first time in the window, but yeah. Uh, yeah. We call. I hope it's framing me perfect. No, it's great. I can see it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we call that squirrel stage A. That's squirrel stage. Squirrel stage. Versus, or no, actually, squirrel stage north is what it is. Okay. Did you know the whole? And just ten feet away is squirrel stage. The whole something. compound is called Squirrelville. Oh because really? Because of the tree right behind you. In that fact, wonderful walnut tree. When oh, we had an right. arborist come years ago to, to Squirrelville to check out those big trees, they told us that this tree that's way too close to the foundation of our house was was planted by a squirrel. Which is why it exists. Because <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't have been designed, no one would have designed chosen. that way. That no would one would have right. chosen it. And at any given yeah. moment in time, you can see like 12 squirrels. Yeah. Isn't that cool? The squirrels are going to have to get a permit. <laughs> We're going to put them to work on the show. It's a zoning issue. <laughs> it's a squirrel zoning. So uh, I chose to do this next song. Uh, oh, by the way, Stephanie... You were talking about the sponsors and all that stuff. I'm supposed to at this point. I promised Josh I would talk about <laughs> the fact that if you feel so inclined and would like to uh, contribute <laughs> or tip uh, on this show, we do have PayPal and Venmo uh, link up that he will plaster on the screen, I believe is going up there now. <laughs> so. That was good. all right, right? No, that was good. It's tricky. It tricky talking like about this. <laughs> to get, like, tricky. consent or some sort of feedback. No, that was... It's, I mean, it's similar to, like, when you... Solid B. I want to give you a solid B on that. Was like, when, I, when, when we go to get our coffees now, <laughs> because that's one of our our Daily. joys in life, is to be able to that's go get gets a coffee. Us, it gets us out of the actual a lot of, house. A lot of places, <laughs> the poor barista will say... Would you like to leave a tip? Because they have to know because they're not like, it's not run the oh, yeah, same I, way it used right, to be. Would you like to leave a tip? <laughs> That's like, true. Oh, I'm so sorry you have to ask that. <laughs> That's true. It's awkward. It's funny. We're going to do a song right now that I learned because of the gentleman in the window right now. Um, we played as banjo killers uh, at the uh, at Horning's Hideout for the String Summit. And what was it? I remember a, this. Was it a Jerry tribute? Thing? Yeah, it was a Jerry Garcia tribute set. Yeah, Jerry Garcia tribute set that Scott asked me to be part of, and I was honored to do it. Uh, I just didn't have a lot of info in the noggin about uh, Grateful Dead music, so uh, Scott was so kind as to create a little playlist for me to go and listen to, and this was one of those songs he put on the playlist, and I really dug it, and it felt like... A song I'd known for years for some reason, and then I come to find out that it's a it's an ancient Scottish ballad. Um, it goes way back as the the maid of Fifey Fivey Fivey no Fife Fivey something like that. <laughs> it goes way back with a different name. <laughs> but but it, but here it's uh, it Pesci? it has a new it has an Italian name <laughs> for the tune. It's called Peggio. 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 <laughs> it's because I. I misspelled it on the set lists. Like, as in R. Peggio. I put Peggio. 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 I like that. I like but, it. in fact, it is also referred to uh, as Fenario. Fenario. Oh, Fenario. And that is the mythical land with where, where the, the song is set. And it is a land that is revisited occasionally in Grateful Dead. In the Dead version, for dead, sure. Dead lore. I, so. think, I think in the, uh, in the old, old version, it's Fivey. Uh-huh. Or yeah. something. Fenario, Fivey, whatever. I, I have distinct memories of this of this performance because I was like eight months, months pregnant and yeah. maybe three weeks pregnant. I was like <laughs> just, just about and to And on burst. stage with us. I don't know how this <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. 
Are we talking too much? <laughs> Sorry. We haven't seen each other in and a we're long so time. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's exciting. But if we keep talking, the guitars are going to keep going out of tune. So. <laughs> let's get this. Let's get this. I think I'm with you. All right, this is called Pretty Peggy O. Stepping down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come stepping down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come stepping down the stairs, let down your yellow hair and bid your last farewell, William O. Sweet William is dead, pretty Peggy O. Sweet William.
and he called her by name. was playing too loud for Instagram there. I'm not sure if they could hear the Scott solo, but we that gives us a chance to let them know that maybe... Yes, this this last song that we're going to play... Hey, we're going to be featuring Scott mostly, so if you're having a hard time hearing... On Instagram. On Instagram. You can go to Facebook. Hey, that Liam. might be a little bit better. So we'll speech it. Hey, hey, Liam! Liam. Please make welcome Liam oh, Jacob Furtado. <laughs> Liam <laughs> Furtado. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank Can our special guest, Scott Law, for yes. joining us on this show. Yay. Thank you, guys. And a big hearty thanks to Westwood Whiskey <laughs> and to Matzinger Davies Wine Company. Um, our next show is going to be... April 15th? April 15th. We're actually going to go for three weeks before the next show. April 15th, but we will let you all know. Yeah, and keep your eyes peeled. We'll announce who the guest is and all that business yeah, fairly we've got soon. somebody pretty wonderful in the works. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> we're on the key of D, right? For Correct. This? this is a sing-along. Anything you want to say about it, Scott? Well, you know, we're just kind of going through that Mardi Gras time of year, so uh, thought we'd play a tune, maybe with that in mind, with some New Orleans roots. Okay. Let's see here. Make sure our tunes. I, I think. I think uh, the prices said hello. Ah, oh, hello, prices. <laughs> Love Dean. Yes. Love Dean. <laughs> Miss you guys. The prices for Luke could make your price. They've been guests of ours multiple times. You don't keep all those comments to yourself tonight. Uh, I'm <laughs> tuning while I do it. Uh, so no, it's I understand it understand. says, Scott, you aren't talking too much for us. So glad to see you and Tony together. <laughs> Kim Schneiderman says, love the banjo killers and this song. <laughs> Scott Griffin says, really amazing. Great, <laughs> Peggy O. Okay. <laughs> You're so good at that. <laughs> You're so Pretty expensive. harmonies. Scott, you need puppets. <laughs> Seriously, right? That you guys don't provide now puppets here? Puppet. <laughs> this so would be good. perfect. This for a puppet exactly. show. <laughs> do a puppet show. No take it. <clears throat> good idea. All, with all these ideas moving forward. Just, oh. yeah, expand yeah. the show. Brand new frontier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can't Who's starting it? starting it? Why don't you start it? All right, can you hear me there, Steph? You get that? Yes.
sitting by the fire. Yes, we will see you in three weeks on April 15th. Take good care, everybody. Bye. This is Thursday Night's Live.